Hello, shining viewers, and welcome to Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. Ever heard of the expression, it's raining cats and dogs? Well, it won't be where we are going today, sunny, smiley California. Nevertheless, and much to our excitement, there will be 65 kitties and 55 tail waggers there. Hi, I'm Sky Valencia, and I'm the founder of the St. Martin's Animal Foundation, which is a nonprofit organization that um, educates people about the green movement, about spay neutering their animals, and how it's connected to um, all the pollution that we're having um, by overbreeding. We are really against dog fighting, and we are unique also because we are the first vegetarian dog rescue, I believe, here in California or maybe in the United States. Created in 1998 by the beautiful Sky Valencia and her loving mother Mimi, St. Martin's Animal Foundation is dedicated to ending the cruelty and suffering of animals. Located in the northwestern area of Los Angeles County, it is a place where sick and unwanted animal companions can be brought back to health and happiness before being adopted into cozy forever homes. And for those residents with special needs, the sanctuary provides a safe haven where they can spend the rest of their natural lives in serenity and security. What makes this rescue truly exceptional, however, is its very noble vegan and green ideal. There's a lot of rescues out there, and they are all doing something good, but there's a lot of pollution also with rescue work, and we wanted to do something different, innovative, where we could uh, educate people about who also rescue, and maybe they could follow in our footsteps to go more green, to have their dogs vegetarian, so you don't have to slaughter more animals to keep your animals healthy and happy, and our dogs do great on a vegetarian diet. Uh, we have dogs that are very thick and healthy and full of energy, and they don't touch meat, and uh, I think that's the way that it needs to go, because especially the animal shelters that have animals that are going to be euthanized anyways, it's an ugly circle that these animals are being slaughtered for animals that are being killed. Six to eight million animals are euthanized in the United States every year, and it's really important that we don't contribute to more death. You know, it's sad enough that that's happening. And so we want to educate the kids now that they're young so then when they own their animals, they don't do that. And then we also teach them to eat healthy at the same time. It's a double whammy. So how does one assist an omnivorous canine in developing a palate for compassionate veggie fare? Our dogs are completely vegetarian and there's no way we're turning back on that. Or vegan, some of them are vegan. The adults are vegan, the puppies have to eat protein and we don't want to give them animal meat. And they do great, you know, it just, they, once you give them the flavor and the taste and we never just give them dry kibble, we make it fun, we make a stew. You know, yeah. who wants to eat dry kibble? I don't, and yeah. it's not natural for them to eat dry, freeze dried food. So we uh, make stew with like spinach and zucchini, flaxseed oil, uh, potatoes, Anything you can think of that I like to eat that's mm -hmm. you know actually really healthy, they like it. They love carrots, they love celery, they love all that stuff. Whatever we do to make it taste good, and they just gobble it up. Can you smell that vegan stew? So yummy and nutritious, how delicious. And it turns out that being veggie brings out the best in human's best friend. By swapping a brittle bone for beneficial broccoli, a snappy snarler can become a sweet softy. It changes their temperaments. More dogs tend to want to fight if there's meat or anything that smells like meat around. They get aggressive. It's just the way it is. It's like that in nature, you know? So uh, we want to keep the aggression down. And since they do great on a vegan and vegetarian diet, we don't give them meat. And it saves our, our skin. <laughs> have to deal with a dog bite. And the good thing is you can make a big pot. It feeds 50 dogs, you know? and it's better than opening those cans one after another, making mm. that extra waste, mm -hmm. and you don't have to kill any animals, you know? So it's pretty cool. That's really cool. Let's visit Dallas, the once very sadly abused and neglected pit bull, who went from being a bag of bones to a healthy, handsome hound. Dallas, a big boy over there, the orange dog, he um, 
he didn't like the veggie food at all at first, and so we started, you know, gradually changing him vegetarian. Mm -hmm. He was a dog that used to bark and growl and be pretty aggressive with everybody. And now, even if a dog gets close to him, he doesn't act like he did. He actually likes to get pet in his belly rub. He was um, went through court because his owners burned his ears and burned his tail and all that stuff. So his owner went to jail, and then nobody wanted him, so he was going to be euthanized. And that's how he ended up with us. And he never had really good food. It was just like whatever the owner threw out the door. So um, so now he's just like a total different dog. He's just a real loving big boy with a big head and he's gotten thick and you know, he used to show all his ribs, but now really? on a vegetarian diet, he's like a thick, really? gorgeous dog, yeah. And we saw him with his toy. Yeah, he's the one who came with his toy, yeah. Before her days of catering plant-based cuisine to canines, Skye encouraged her mother Mimi to give up meat by helping her put down her bloody knife and fork and pick up a spoonful of green peas, she saved her mother's life from being consumed by colon cancer. I was di diagnosed with uh, colon cancer. I have a tumor in my colon. And um, I was always a big meat eater. So I took the little minimum of radiation and then I said, no surgery, no nothing else, no chemotherapy, no nothing. And after I, Sky told me, you have to go vegan. You have to, you have to drop the meat eating, no cheating, no nothing. So that is what I did. I did completely vegan and organic. Mm -hmm. Organic food, vegan food. And uh, I've been healing practically immediately you know I just eat good work hard you know with the animals and then um, the cancer when I went back to the doctor for checkup he said Mimi it's a miracle you are healed you are clean you have nothing and these are you know after they have a meeting of like seven doctors try to do everything on me limiting my time of life and it's been 14 years wow. cancer free and I feel very good thank God and I tell everybody you know that that is the way to live mm -hmm. and be good to the animals <laughs> she saved my life really you know because yeah. she pushed me into veganism and um, yeah I'm very proud of her By going vegan and helping animals, this lovely lady's luck changed remarkably. She told us about how through God's guiding grace, she has developed a talent for rehabilitating disabled animals. With eternal patience, Mimi's magic fingers can meticulously massage listless limbs back to life. Well, I was raised Catholic, and uh, I was limiting myself to certain belief, but since I started practicing chanting, meditation, you know, I change. And nature and being alone here for many hours, dedicating your life to save these animals that they are, uh, they have suffered so much already, you know. And uh, I, I feel that I have changed. God has given me, or life has given me, the second opportunity to help, really help these animals, and I, I cannot develop healing hands. I can heal animals. You know, when they come crippled, when they come um, with emotional distress, I talk to them. I give them massages. It's amazing for me because I don't deserve that gift, I think, you know, but God needs me to help his creatures. God has using me, or life is using me, to help these creatures. I couldn't believe myself when I can see, you know, these animals running. And it takes patience, though. It, we have a dog that came totally crippled from the neck down. So I started studying what can I give him, what can I feed him, and how can I treat them. So I started giving him massages. Little by little, he's running now. I can bring him out, you can feel him. He's beautiful. Yeah, we'd love to. He is, um, 
he, we have to carry him in blankets to do pee pee. His legs and his arms were dragging, you know. And uh, little by little, he get up, he get up, he pee and he look at me. He pee and <laughs> he lift one leg and he look at me. <laughs> so I applaud him, bravo, bravo. And here he is, I would like you to meet him. We applaud you too, Mimi the Miracle Worker. And here's another victory from her healing hands that deserves celebrating. How does a helpless dog named the fish become a running champ? Let's meet a puppy who went from being a paraplegic about to be euthanized to being a bundle of joy bounding about the backyard. This is Champ. <laughs> and Champ's a ham. And Champ couldn't walk. Um, he was a swimmer puppy and he was going to be euthanized at the animal shelter because nobody wanted him because he laid on his stomach the whole time. The doctors, the shelter over there where we took him from, uh, they called him the fish and he said he never walk. Hmm. Well, they were wrong. <laughs> yeah. He ran in. And the people that owns them Ramona. have, uh, they're in love with him. They yeah. love him. He couldn't walk for the first two months of his life, and uh, it's because he, his muscles were too weak, and he was taken from his mother too young. And so uh, spending time with us, running the way he should be, he got much healthier, and now he's, his bones have developed perfectly. He's fine. He's perfect. <laughs> he's a little nipper. <laughs> what do a levitating saint, solar panels, and a grandpa pit bull have in common? The wonderful world of Sky Valencia's Animal Sanctuary, of course. Find out more next week on part two of St. Martin's Animal Foundation, home to tail wagging vegans. Visit Sky Valencia's Super St. Martin's Animal Foundation online to learn more at www.stmartinsrescue.org. Caring viewers, thank you for your uplifting presence on vegetarianism, the noble way of living. Please stay with us for Between Master and Disciples, coming up next on Supreme Master Television. Wishing you a barking brilliant day full of abundance and joy. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG.